I am so excited to be here today, and I thank you all for being here. I came to the Tea Party this past summer uh, before I was a candidate, and I didn't think that we would see such a great outpouring of folks, and here it was a hot summer day on a Monday for those of you who were there, and I was emboldened by the fact that so many of you turned out. And I was so excited to see the enthusiasm in the crowd that I turned around and I wrote a check to the Tea Party to encourage you to keep going and to keep going and going. And I'm excited about this TV commercial and I feel like I'm a small part of it because I supported the Tea Party early on. In April of last year, April 15th, we had a big Tea Party rally for those of you who are up in Carson City. We had one up there as well. So this movement, as, as we've already heard, is gaining strength, and I thank you, thank you very much for doing that. You know, my years of public service started way back when I volunteered with the USO uh, and went to Vietnam in uh, 1971. My hat's off to all of you veterans. I see a lot of veterans hats here. <laughs> years old and gave up some weeks of college to uh, support our troops and uh, to pay my respect to those who served in Vietnam. And I, I'm, I'm uh, heartfelt to hear from the Vietnam vets when I talk about my days with the USO and how many of you say thank you to me. And so I say thank you back to you. But we're in my district right now that I used to, uh, yes, let's thank the batteries again. <laughs> My district right now when I ran for state senate when everyone said it couldn't be done in a three to one Democrat district back in the 90s in a year that Bill Clinton won the state or swing state Bill Clinton won the state I ran against the majority leader of the Nevada Senate and I won and I went up to Carson City uh, and I became the swing vote on so many tough issues became the chairman of taxation very early on and the majority whip of the Senate and I shut down our taxation committee. I, I told the budget committee loud and clear that there'll be no new taxes coming out of this taxation committee. And I'm proud of that record. And I ask you to go on SueLoudon.com and learn a little bit about me, about my record in the state senate, but about all of the issues now that are surrounding us and all the issues that are on, on the forefront. And I want to also tell you that uh, I'm supporting uh, Scott Brown in Massachusetts as well. And what I'm doing which officially opens January 25th on today, and I invite all of you to come out on the 25th for that grand opening. But I have 30 phones that aren't being used, and I encourage every one of you to sign up in the back of the room. We're going to start phone calls for Mr. Brown right here in Nevada to get out and vote in Massachusetts. Because like California and Utah and Arizona helps Nevada so many times, they come in here and they help us in this swing state. We're going to help Massachusetts and we're going to put Mr. Brown over the top and make him the next senator out of Massachusetts. <laughs> have a couple minutes more to speak, but I, I, I'm telling you, I, I'm emboldened by the fact that I'm winning double digits in many, many polls over Harry Reid. I ask you to join with me to defeat him. Think about who you want sitting next to Harry Reid on Meet the Press. I am the voice. I am the one that you want to talk about the conservative values here in Nevada. I've got the record as a businesswoman and as a mom. I've been a room mom, I've been a little league mom, I've been so involved in our community. Back in 1978, I started uh, with the Jerry Lewis Telethon with our muscular dystrophy kids, and I've been with them ever since. I'm now their national treasurer and on the executive board. We do not have dystrophy in our family, but does it matter that as long as you're helping kids? So I have a, a long record of public service here in our community and throughout the state, and I ask you to sincerely consider me when you're thinking about voting in the primary and, and when you're voting against Harry Reid next November. Thank you for having me. Today.